Since its launch in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope has provided a dazzling array of images that have awed and inspired us all. But Hubble's about far more than just pretty pictures. The mission has gathered dozens of terabytes of data over the decades, providing key insights into the universe, from objects as close as the moon to the most remote galaxies, with observations of supernovas and nebulas in between. And now, the latest reports from NASA state that Hubble has discovered discovered a hidden galaxy behind the Milky Way. But first, let's briefly look into the legendary telescope that made this discovery possible. When Galileo Galilei first turned a spyglass to the heavens in 1610, he had trouble making out the rings of Saturn that are visible in inexpensive telescopes today. Advances in optics eventually improved scientists' views of the planets, stars, and distant galaxies, but Earth's atmosphere still blocked or distorted much of the light for observers on the ground. Larger telescopes were and still are placed atop mountains where the thinner atmosphere at higher elevations allows for clearer pictures. In 1946, soon after World War II, astronomer Lyman Spitzer proposed launching a space telescope which could overcome the limitations of ground-based observatories. It took a couple more decades before the idea garnered enough support for the U.S. National Academy of Sciences to organize a committee of scientists to evaluate the potential of a large space telescope. The expensive project was a tough sell, and funding was initially denied by the House Appropriations Subcommittee in 1975. NASA then upped its lobbying efforts and got buy-in from the European Space Agency, which shared the costs. Congress eventually granted funding for NASA's portion of the Large Space Telescope in 1977. Development began almost immediately. NASA planned to launch the telescope in 1983, but various production delays pushed the launch date back to 1986. The Large Space Telescope was renamed Hubble in honor of Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer who, among other things, determined that the universe extended beyond the borders of the Milky Way. Hubble finally launched aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery on April 24, 1990, and a day later was deployed into low Earth orbit about 340 miles above our planet. Getting Hubble developed and launched cost $1.5 billion, but there would be ongoing costs as well, both expected and unexpected. While the telescope was initially marred with major setbacks, they were all rectified when the Space Shuttle Endeavour ferried a crew of seven to fix Hubble during five days of spacewalks. Two new cameras, including the Wide Field Planetary Camera 2, which later took many of Hubble's most famous photos, were installed during the fix. In December 1993, the first new images from Hubble reached Earth, and they were breathtaking. Ever since then, the telescope has continued to make major discoveries and expand our knowledge of the cosmos. Hubble's elevated perspective and advanced optics allow it to appear farther away than ground-based optics can see. Because light takes time to travel long distances, Hubble functions like a time machine. The light it views from remote objects reveals how these objects appeared when the light left them, not how they appear today. For example, when we look at the Andromeda Galaxy, which lies about 2.5 million light-years from Earth, we see it as it was 2.5 million years ago. And with Hubble, distant objects are revealed that otherwise can't be seen at all. When astronomers pointed the telescope to a seemingly empty patch of sky in Ursa Major in 1995, for instance, they captured an image of over 3,000 galaxies too distant to be detected by other telescopes. Some of the galaxies were so young that they had not yet begun serious star formation. Other deep field observations in the same area were performed, peering deeper into space each time. In addition to gazing at the early universe, Hubble also helped astronomers gauge how much time had passed since the Big Bang. By measuring a special kind of pulsing star, known as a Cepheid variable, researchers were able to narrow down the age of the universe from its previous range of 10 to 20 billion years to a more precise 13.7 billion years. And in the late 1990s, Hubble's observations of supernovas helped astronomers make a startling find. The universe's ongoing expansion is accelerating, apparently driven by a mysterious force known as dark energy. We still don't know what dark energy is, is, even though it makes up most of the universe. Astronomers have used Hubble to create a 3D map of dark matter, which remains mysterious, even though it's six times more abundant than the normal matter that makes up stars, planets, and everything else we can see and touch. 
The iconic scope has also discovered that most, if not all, major galaxies harbor supermassive black holes at their cores. Hubble also examines individual stars in various stages of their evolution, from the clouds of dust that form infant stars to the corpses of those long since detonated. It has even been able to study stars beyond our galaxy, the Milky Way, and into its neighbors, the Magellanic Clouds and Andromeda Galaxy. Hubble has even photographed planets orbiting other suns. In 2008, for example, Hubble captured imagery of the exoplanet candidate Fomalhaut b, the first time such an object had been directly imaged in visible light. Fomalhaut b has since been reclassified as a likely dust cloud, but Hubble has snapped photos of several other alien worlds since then. The latest announcement from NASA states that the telescope has made yet another mind-boggling discovery. It has discovered a stunning hidden galaxy behind our very own Milky Way. The released image showcases a spiral galaxy called IC342, also known as Caldwell 5. No matter what you call this galaxy, NASA claims scientists have had significant difficulties observing it due to obstacles in the way, earning it its hidden nickname. It appears near the equator of the Milky Way's pearly disk, which is crowded with thick cosmic gas, dark dust, and glowing stars that all obscure our view. Hubble can peer through the debris to an extent, as the telescope does have infrared capabilities. Infrared light is less scattered by dust and allows a clearer view of the galaxy behind the interstellar matter. This sparkling, face-on view of the center of the galaxy displays intertwined tendrils of dust and spectacular arms that wrap around a brilliant core of hot gas and stars. This core is a specific type of region called an H2 nucleus, an area of atomic hydrogen that has become ionized. Such regions are energetic birthplaces of stars, where thousands of stars can form over a couple of million years. The blue stars ionize or energize the hydrogen surrounding their birthplaces due to emitting ultraviolet light. The galaxy would be one of the brightest galaxies in our sky if there was not so much dust in the way. IC342 is also relatively close in galactic terms, only 11 million light years from Earth. It's about half the diameter of our own Milky Way, making it relatively large as well. It's quite astounding how Hubble continues to make discoveries decades after its launch, and it is not done yet. NASA expects the observatory to keep providing us with invaluable data for years to come. While Hubble is still going strong, this has not deterred NASA from upgrading its eyes in the sky. Launched in December of 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope is a state-of-the-art infrared space observatory that is hailed as the natural successor to the Hubble. This $10 billion telescope, which also happens to be NASA's largest and most powerful space observatory, will probe the cosmos to uncover the history of the universe from the Big Bang to alien planet formation and beyond. After after launch, it took 30 days for the James Webb Space Telescope to travel nearly a million miles to its permanent home, a Lagrange Point, a gravitationally stable location in space. From here, the telescope will focus on four main objectives, which include looking for the first light in the universe, observing the assembly of galaxies in the early universe, observing the birth of stars and protoplanetary systems, and searching for new planets that may have signs of life. The powerful James Webb Space Telescope is also expected to take amazing photos of celestial objects like its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. This could help us uncover even more hidden galaxies in the cosmos, which may have previously been out of reach. If you like this video, please consider taking a look at this one, which takes a deeper look at the James Webb Telescope and its first signal. Do you think James Webb will surpass the discoveries made by Hubble? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.